everyone, it's Gidu, and in this video I'm going to be doing an unboxing of Ash Lynx's an Android um, by Good Smell Company from the anime and manga Banana Fish. Uh, I would recommend that anime, just not to those who are faint of heart. And manga, just, just again, not to those who are faint of heart. But let's get him open up. Got my packing note. And he's packed like so, just to that on top. He did not come with a bonus. Ignore that I'm looking over here. Screen's over here. Here's what his box looks like. So we have him like this. Sorry, it is very bright. The box is all glossy. <laughs> it's a knife. I love Ash so much. And the top of the box and the bottom of the box. Um, I actually have not decided how I'm going to pose him yet, but I also don't have AG yet. I'd like to pose him with AG if possible, but unfortunately he does not come out until next month, so I will have to wait. But yeah, this is, this is him here. We'll just open him up. Pardon me if, I've, if I'm kind of quiet, there's a bunch of people in the house, it is very late, it is also very dark right now. There you go. So he is packaged like this, with the Nendroid here, and we have his separate arm pieces here. We have him, and we have his gun and his knife right there. Comes with a standard base and a standard uh, neck joint, and then of course the figure support as well, right here. This anime made me so depressed. I literally mean, I cried so hard and so much that my eyeballs were swollen. It was a real bad time, really bad. Here are his face plates. We have, it's very bright. So here we have his like angry yelling face plate. Here we have his cute sweet face plate. Sorry if this is not focusing. I will do a closer look that I will link in the description below if you want to take a look at that. I will film the whole figure posed uh, with a better camera so you can see which face plate I choose. So we have this hand here holding on to the little like lockety necklace that looks like a bullet thing when it opens up and there is that little bit of stuff anyways watch the anime here we have his little gun as you can see it is very small i am so sorry and we have his pocket knife here again super tiny i am really sorry it's hard to show and they're just taped down in his um case right there and then here we have Ash himself. Plastic between his head. Plastic between his legs and his torso. And there's also plastic in between the... Oh, I think this... Okay. So, his green flannel shirt that he wears over his waist... Um, there's plastic in between it, but I believe the only way you can take it off uh, because of the shape is if you pop his arms off and then slide the shirt up top. Yeah, so the only way to get the shirt out or the flannel shirt off of him is to slide it up from the top because it's a little wide on the bottom of his shirt for that. There is his body. Here is his head. I'm going to pop the plastic out from in between his face plate and his hair. So here is what he looks like. And that is how he is packaged. Um, he's super cute. I don't know how I'm going to pose him yet. Like I said, I kind of wanted to pose him with AG. But um, AG's not out yet. So I, I might just wait. And like pose him as something super simple for now and then pose him again when I get AG. Uh, but we'll we'll see, I guess. So these are 
this is this is him um i am a little concerned about taking this faceplate off because his hair kind of the crease of it kind of wraps out behind his ears which is a little abnormal uh for an android in my opinion anyways because uh, when I feel like I'm pulling him, or pulling the hair off of his head, I feel like I'm pushing the side hair pieces too hard on his head. And I don't want to cause any paint transfer from his blonde hair to his cheeks. So I'm a little concerned about that. But, also on his ears. So it didn't cause any paint transfer this time, but I recommend being careful just in case that's something you really worry about. I do know of a way to get it off if you use a magic eraser and really gently try to get the paint off. I've had to do it with one of my other figures. When I was posing them, my like finger slipped and I hit one figure against the other one and it left a mark from the one's accessory on the other's hair, but that's a different uh, topic in video. Uh, so far, I really like the color of his hair, though. Like, it's very nice, very bright and yellow, like in the anime. Um, kind of interesting to get back on, though, because his part is up here on the side, and when you're pushing the hair back, you want to, like, line it up properly so that it sits right. It just feels a little weird, uh, but it works, and I really like his little sweater shirt thing although it does feel a little loose once you take that plastic off but yeah this is him um i do again apologize about the setup that's going on i'm still waiting for a new phone it's not going to happen until september so this is something we'll have to deal with until then but yeah um that's pretty much all there is for this video that's everything he comes with uh his extra arm pieces are just extra arm pieces that hold different items and whatnot and do different poses, which I've shown the box for. If you're interested in seeing that, you can pause during that part of the video. So I will link his closer look in the description below, so you guys can check that out if you want to see him like up close and a better look at all the little details and whatnot. Um, I'll also link AJ's unboxing when it is done. I'll put links down below for my social media and my affiliate links through CD Japan and Tokyo Talk Mode if you want to purchase anything like this through those links. Uh, please take a look. I really appreciate it. I get a small commission to everybody who buys through those links. So thank you guys so much. I really, really appreciate it. It really helps me out. And yeah, I will link all of those in the description below and you guys can check those out. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!